Maddie, what are you doing? Well, somebody told me that these boots would keep your legs safe, so I thought I'd try them out for a day. On horses. Today we're gonna teach you a little bit about all the different kinds of boots and what they do. On horses. Howdy, and welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired here at the Bar SC. Hey guys, today we're gonna teach you all about horse boots and how we use them to keep our horses from injuring themselves and to support their legs while they're working. We're gonna have a couple different people that are here on the ranch show you their horses and the boots that they ride their horses in and what they're used for and how they keep our horses safe and healthy and we can go riding in them. Hi, my name is Maddie and this is Willie and today I'm gonna to be using splint boots. So these are gonna help if their two front legs will rub together by the side, so that's why they have this pad here. Mine have two straps of Velcro, some will have more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this kind of thicker part of the pad right over the fetlock. And I like to slide mine, so start up here, slide it down so that we know that all the hair is going into the correct direction. And then we want these straps to fasten from the front to the back. So I'm gonna hold these here. I'm gonna overlap them just slightly. And I'm gonna make sure my strap comes from the front over to the back, and then I'm going to do the bottom one the same way. And we want even pressure throughout the whole boot, so I like to see, kind of make sure the straps are at least somewhat even, kind of maybe put my fingers in the top and the bottom, make sure they're about the same, and then again just make sure that everything's in place. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm Ashley and this is Dylan and we're going to be showing you what a polo wrap is. So a polo wrap is one of the more difficult kinds of boots because it's not already put together. You don't just fasten it on. You actually have to wrap it yourself. So this is something you wouldn't want to do and ride your horse in if you weren't confident in your abilities to wrap a polo wrap or you didn't have someone there to check you because by doing it wrong you can actually cause damage to these ligaments and tendons running in your horse's legs if you put pressure on them in the wrong way. So we wanna be careful that as we're using this, we're providing even pressure throughout. But as I wrap, we have a rolled up polo. On the inside, you'll see when we get to the end, there's actually a piece of Velcro, which is going to secure it. And if your polo is not wrapped the right way, you'll get all the way around your leg and find you can't secure it at the end. So when we get to the end here, I'll show you how we roll them back up. But let's just trust that this one's properly rolled for now. And we're gonna start always around the front area where there's a big bone running here with the front of our polo. So we're gonna put it across the front and wrap front to back. So front to back, we don't wanna be wrapping this way. You could wrap this way, but it's gonna make your life more difficult to have the roll on the inside of the wrap. It's much easier to have the wrap and then the roll unraveling this way. So we're gonna hold it there. We're gonna pull it snug across the front, across that bone and around the outside. Now that we're back here to the front again, we're gonna make sure we're overlapped. And then I'm gonna pull it snug across the front and just not, not loose across the back, but I'm not pulling it snug. Until I'm around the front, pull it snug, wrap it around the back. And we're going down about an inch, maybe a little more than an inch with each wrap. You'll get used to the length of your polo and the size of your own horse's feet and decide how much you need to go down with each wrap but keeping in mind we're starting at the top going down and then coming all the way back up. So we need enough wrap for that. And the reason we wanna pull it tight across the front and not across the back is that it keeps the pressure off these tendons and ligaments back here. We don't wanna provide or cause any large pressure areas across the back. So now that we're down here around the fetlock of the horse, we're gonna do, we're gonna create a little V in the front. So I'm gonna come down around the back, up under this fetlock, and then back up around the front. So you'll notice in the front of my, my polo wrap here, which we'll show you, we're gonna have a little bit of a V because one side goes down, it goes around, and it comes back up on the other side. So now my job is to make my way back up to the top, doing the same thing, pulling it snug across the front and loose across the back. Not loose, but just not super tight. Same thing, snug across the front. 
and just laying it across the back. And now we're to the point where I have my Velcro, and you'll see the sticky side of my Velcro is pointed in the right direction. Sometimes you get to the end and your Velcro is facing in the wrong way, then you have to start all over. We don't want to do anything weird with our Velcro to try and attach it. But it's going to attach nice and simply just right across the front. And if you've done it correctly, your polo wrap will stay on for your whole ride. If you're ever in doubt that your polo wrap's gonna come off halfway through your ride, don't use a polo wrap <laughs> until you're a little more confident. Because if this comes off and starts flapping around all over the place and it's halfway attached to your horse and you're riding them, it could be a very dangerous situation. But now I'm gonna show you how we wrap our polos back up again. So I'm gonna take this one off, Dylan. Same way we put it on, just unrolling it, creating a little polo ball. Don't have to be super meticulous about this. So now I'm left with just a really large piece of fabric. I throw some of it up over my shoulder so that it's not on the ground. If these pick up stickers or anything like that, you wouldn't want to attach a sticker really tightly against your horse. But we get to the side with the Velcro, the sticky side's here. So I'm gonna fold it down and then Velcro it to itself. So with it Velcro to itself, I can roll towards the Velcro and this is gonna make it so when I put it back on a horse's leg and I wrap it on there, it's going to allow me to attach it when I get to the end the appropriate way. So polo wraps are gonna be used if your horse interferes, which means they bump each other, or bump their feet with other, other legs at the same time. So Dylan doesn't have a huge problem with that, but some horses they'll, you know, in the way that they move, they'll bump their hoof, which is really hard up against the opposing leg and cause scratches or inflammation or swellings, things like that. Polo wraps are really good at preventing that from happening. I've heard a lot and I, you know, Different horse people will argue different things about whether or not they provide any support. Um, I definitely think there's a chance they provide some support, but there's a lot of arguments going on right now about whether or not, you know, the, the support that this little piece of fabric can provide is actually enough um, in comp comparison to the weight and size of a horse and what they're doing with their legs. But it cannot be argued that they don't provide protection from interference. So I would use a polo wrap if I was worried about my horse causing injury to his legs by bumping them, but if I really wanted a lot of support, I would stick with the sports medicine boots. Hi, my name is Kylie, and this here is Rose. Today I'm going to be telling you about sports medicine boots. So, the sports medicine boots help horses who interfere, or they help horses who knock their feet together as they're walking or trotting. Um, and these boots will just protect their legs here from gashing them open. And so we'll put them on. Here we go. And on the inside, it'll always tell you, you know, right or left. And usually it'll tell you front or back. These ones are interchangeable, so I can use them on the front or the back. So this one's going to be her right leg, so I'm going to go around to the other side and put it on her right foot. I'm going to put it around her pastern here, and I want to make it kind of tight, just so it doesn't slip off. Not too tight, though. And I'm just going to wrap it around and pull it tight there. There we go.
My name is Malia, and this is Charlie. And bell boots are used to protect the back of the hoof from when the horse accidentally oversteps and hits the back. So when we put on the bell boot, so on the bell boot it says, it says left or right. This one in this case is a left. And when we put on the bell boot, this little bulge right here, that's gonna go right here. So I'm just gonna put it on the back and make it nice and tight. There. And so now if Charlie accidentally hits this hoof on the back of this hoof, then she won't have any scabs or injuries or anything like that. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned a little bit about the different kinds of boots that we use here. Um, it's a really great way that we can keep our horse's legs nice and safe and healthy. And we'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe and leave us comments about what you might like to see in future episodes. We'll see ya back on the ranch.